This is the Rich Dad Radio Show. The good news and bad news about money. Here's Robert Kiyosaki. Hello, hello, hello. Robert Kiyosaki, the Rich Dad Radio Show. The good news and bad news about money. So anyway, welcome to the Rich Dad Radio Show. We have a very exciting show for you today. I'm going to talk to you about the greatest investment opportunity you will see today. Not tomorrow, but today. Now, don't take my word for it because you know we at Rich Dad don't give investment advice. I will tell you, though, that I have been a buyer, but I've been, been a buyer for a long time. Now, the good thing about this investment is most of the stuff that we or Rich Dad talks about, the average person cannot do. That's the problem. You know, you have to have financial education. And most people want a tip, but they don't want to be educated. But this investment, everybody throughout the world can do and can afford. You know, like when I borrow $300 million, which happened to me after the 2008 crash because interest rates dropped and the real estate market was near zero, it was a great time to borrow, but all the losers were selling. You know, so that's what really happens in markets. The buyers buy at the bottom and losers sell at the bottom. But right now, we're near the bottom of something. This could be the most important investment of your life, and I do mean that. But don't take my word for it. You've really got to do your own study. So we're talking today about why savers will soon be the biggest losers in history. (laughs) So all of you out there saving money, listen, pay attention. Because you're going to learn something today. Once again, I don't recommend investments. We do recommend you study. So today we're talking about what's happening in what's called the precious metals market, gold and silver. And I personally believe, but again, don't take my word for it, you're going to wish you bought something in the next few weeks or months relative to gold and silver. And the reason it's a great investment is anybody can do it. I'm not recommending ETFs, exchange-traded funds. I'm recommending hardcore, physical gold and silver coins, bars, and things like that. So you're going to get an education today, a little bit about why I'm talking about this. And I don't get any commissions. I don't make any money on it. But I personally believe, you know, even if you're living in the outer reaches of the Andes, you can afford a $20 silver coin. If you're living in the heart of Africa, you can afford a $20 silver coin. So you're going to be wishing you had, listen to me, and even if you have no money at all and unemployment, if you went out and just panhandled and say, I need money, you could raise 20 bucks. Everybody can raise 20 bucks somewhere. Even a kid could. You could buy a silver coin. And I am predicting, again, don't take my word for it, you gotta do your own study, that that $20 silver coin is gonna be a lot more valuable in a few months and years and decades. While at the same time, the dollar, the yen, the euro will be tanking. So really, it's really like a seesaw effect. On one side, you have fiat currency, which is dollar, yen, euro, and the pound, And on the other side, you have precious metals, which I consider real money. So as as they keep printing more paper money, the value of the value of paper money keeps going down, and the value of gold and silver and platinum and all those other things keeps going up. But again, don't take my word for it. You've got to do your own study. So today we have two special special guests. We have. My personal, the, per, the person I really do, I buy gold and silver from different pe- people, but Jerry Williams is the person I've been buying gold and silver for from four years. And he is the founder of American Precious Metals. The great thing about Jerry is right across the street from me, and I can just <laughs> walk over there from my house. It's a nine iron shot to his office. And the other is a new friend of mine, Brian London, and he is the editor and publisher of Gold newsletter. Please subscribe to his newsletter. Like I said, don't take my word for it. This is not a tip. This is not a tip. Oh, it's a hot tip. Because you, you'll, you'll probably sell if it goes down, which is really stupid. So Brian London is the host of the New Orleans Investment Conference. It's the world's oldest and most respected 
Gold Investment Event in New Orleans. It's October 25th and 28th, and I will be a speaker at it. Now, why am I going to be a speaker at it? So I can listen to the other speakers. <laughs> you know, I'm going to tell you what I know today. It ain't much. But anyway, the reason you want to go to the New Orleans Investment Conference is to do as I recommend, which, in which I do. I study. I want to listen to people who do study the subject of gold and silver. So anyway, that's what this program is about. This is not about a tip. It's about study. We'll, we'll do our best for the next two or three sections to explain why I am very encouraging that you study and then possibly invest in gold and silver. It's not, a, it's not trying to make money. You just want to prevent yourself from, you know, you want to be solvent in the near future, okay? Because throughout history, what's about to happen has always collapsed. Since the time of the Romans, when they started debasing currency, which meant they basically took silver coins and they put nickel and lead into it so that it looked like gold and silver, but it wasn't. In other words, your own government was screwing you, which is, it's not happening today as we all know. But anyway, the Romans have tried it, the Chinese have tried it, everybody's tried it. The U.S. government tried it and has started trying it in 1964, actually. Then in 71, Nixon really stuck it to everybody, the whole world, because the U.S. dollar was a reserve currency of the world. Never in the history of the world has there been an event since 1971 where President Nixon, I'm not blaming Nixon, not Republican or Democrat, he just stuck it to the world. So for those of you who are interested in at least saving parts of your wealth, today's program is for you. Jerry, welcome to the program. Thank you, Robert. Nice to be here again. So give us a little history of what, how you became uh, got into this gold business. Well, like a lot of people, I was in the uh, just working along for a salary. I worked for Motorola for a while, and then I took a sabbatical and went to Europe for the whole summer of 71. And the fixed exchange rates at that time suddenly weren't fixed anymore. I was getting fewer uh, Deutschmarks, fewer Swiss francs, French, uh, than my little calculator said I should. And uh, I thought, well, these people are all thieves. I didn't matter if you were at a bank or an airport or wherever. I got back to the States just in time to, uh, in August of 71, to hear Nixon's announcement about how we're all Keynesians now. I didn't really know what that meant, but I did know, basically, the dollar was not as good as gold, which is what we were always told. And uh, the reason that they did that, and Nixon justified it, was because at the end of World War II, the U.S. Treasury had on deposit 20,000 tons of gold. It just dwarfed what anybody else in the world had. For those who may not know a history, quick update. In 1944, coming out of World War II, and the United States, at the Bretton Woods Agreement, agreed that the U.S. dollar would become as good as gold. In other words, the U.S. promised, with their fingers crossed, of course, that every dollar would be backed by at least, I think it was 20% gold. And so what happened was Nixon says, no longer will we back it by gold. We're just going to print as much as we like. So that affected the whole world economy. Well, from 1944 to 1971, we lost or redeemed, uh, mostly to Europeans, uh, down to the point where we had uh, 8,000 tons left out of 20 in just that short period of time, 25 years. Well, 10 sitting in my vault. <laughs> I wish. <laughs> yes. I wish. So that was their justification for doing it. And, of course, the result was that you had OPEC created because everyone who received the dollars realized they were right. going to be worth less year after year. And now, of course, you know, that dollar from 1971 is worth about 10 cents now. Right. So all you guys out there who are believing your financial planners and all those financial experts on radio and television about saving money, pay attention. So the next person on our program, again, is Brian London. He is editor and publisher of Gold Newsletter, host of the New Orleans Investment Conference, October 25th and 28th. It could be the most important conference you go to this year to find out what's going to happen in the near future because this has all been set up since 1971. And I'll be at the conference again. I'm going to tell you what I know today so you don't need to come and listen to me. But there's going to be other experts at the show, and you can find out for yourself what you should do. Like I said, before you do anything, study. But most people don't. They want a tip from their financial planner or television or the newspaper. So, Brian, welcome to the program. Thanks, Robert. Glad to be here, as always. Yeah, thank you. Tell me how you got into the gold business. Well, I started working in 1985 as a junior copywriter for a man named Jim Blanchard, who was 
uh, really an icon in uh, the gold movement. He was known as the original gold bug. And, you know, hearkening back to what you were just saying, he started collecting or, or, or going through change to get the silver coinage out after 1964, as you just mentioned, when the U.S. took silver out of its coinage. He would go through a lot of change and keep the silver coins. Yeah, so everybody, everybody who's listening, this is all educational. History says, and I, ha- I was one of those guys in 1964. I was a, a sophomore in high school, and I smelled a rat when the when the silver quarters and half dollars suddenly had this copper tinge to them. That's called debasing. In other words, mm-hmm. they put copper or whatever some alloy into the silver coins. And at that point, I just smelled a rat. And I started, when I was a little kid in high school, going down to the bank and getting all this, and then pulling every single coin possible, dimes, dimes, quarters, and half dollars. And I said the Russians, I mean the Russians, the Romans tried this not, not a couple of years ago. So keep going, Brian. Yeah, and that's precisely what Jim, uh, Jim Blanchard did, and that was really the foundation of his fortune, just that, taking those silver coins. Uh, that he found and that were still circulating at the time. And most people had no idea what was happening. But as you say, you know, they had, that co- they had the coins to base. They had no more silver in them or zinc and copper, essentially worthless and backed by nothing more than, than the, the faith and credit of the United States. What it means, what, what, what Brian is talking about, worthless, you say, well, I don't like this coin. They say, okay, here's another one. You get the same thing back. <laughs> you, right. You had no choice, you know. Thank you very much. <laughs> So Jim yeah, Blanchard, yeah, Jim Blanchard's not only you know he's an icon. He's he's also been called other names out there, but he is infamous in the market of gold bugs like me. Exactly, and and when he heard Nixon make that announcement that you were referring to in, in 1971, he knew it was coming as well. So he started Gold Newsletter at that time. Uh, then he started lobbying and using Gold Newsletter to to lobby for the return of the right of gold ownership to American citizens. People don't realize, but back then it was as illegal to own gold outside of jewelry or rare coins. It was as illegal to own gold as, say, plutonium or heroin or, you know, anything else. It was absolutely illegal to own gold because the government did not want its citizens to be protected. So please pay attention. What Jim just said is very, very important. The government, I I believe it was around 1933, it was a guy named FDR, Franklin Delano Roosevelt, who said it was illegal to hold gold, and they asked people to turn their gold in. So can you imagine that it was illegal to hold real money? So inquiring minds would like to know, why would they do that? Why, don't, why doesn't the government want you to hold gold? So when we come back, we'll be going more into that, because we're not telling you to buy gold and silver. We're trying to tell you why us, the old guys around here, have been watching it for years. We'll be right back. You're listening to The Rich Dad Radio Show with Robert Kiyosaki. Thanks for tuning in to The Rich Dad Radio Show. If you like what you're hearing, go to iTunes or Android, subscribe to the show, and leave a rating and review to help other financially minded people like you find The Rich Dad Radio Show. Thanks for tuning in and keep on learning. Every business owner and real estate investor needs asset protection. Entities like LLCs, S, or C Corps are vital to protect yourself and your business. Let Corporate Direct guide you through the process of forming a corporation or LLC. Corporate Direct is owned by Rich Dad Advisor Garrett Sutton and is Robert Kiyosaki's choice for corporate formation. Mention Rich Dad and receive $100 off a formation. Call 800 600 1760. That's 800-600-1760, or visit online at CorporateDirect.com. That's CorporateDirect.com. It pays to listen. Now back to Robert Kiyosaki and the Rich Dad Radio Show. Welcome back, Robert Kiyosaki, the Rich Dad Radio Show, the good news and bad news about money. Once again, you can listen to this radio program anytime, anywhere on iTunes or Android. And all of our programs are archived at richdadradio.com. The reason we archive them is because we're an education company. We're not an advice company. And we want you to learn. So if you've listened to this program, 
go back to richdadradio.com and listen to the second or third time. It would be the best investment of your time you could have, especially today. Also, if you have friends, family, and fellow idiots out there who know nothing, you know, like these people who are saving money, saving money, I would have them listen to this program with you and discuss it because you may be doing them one of the biggest favors of all times. So all of our podcasts are archived at richdadradio.com and you might be saving some people's lives right now because I, I personally believe, and I could be wrong, I've been wrong a lot of times, this is the biggest possible investment for everybody in the world because everybody can afford a $20 silver coin, even a U.S. Eagle silver. I think what we're having is a breakdown of paper currency, the U.S. dollar, the yen, the euro. Now, that it may take a number of years to evolve, but you can already see it because, as I said, in 1964, I smelled the rat when I saw that copper tinge around my half dollar in water and dimes. And then in 1972, my rich dad sends me a letter, and he, I'm out in Vietnam flying, and he says, watch gold. And I didn't realize it. But Nixon took the dollar off the gold standard because too much gold was going out of the U.S., and they had to stop that. So gold had moved in from 71 to 72, had moved up 100%. Now, it was only $35 to approximately $70, but 100% move is a big move. And that's what I'm trying to say to people. I think we're at that point again where we're gonna have one more big move, but it's not because of gold, but it's because the dollar, paper currency, BS money, is about to go down, and the dollar, as I'm speaking right now, is going down, 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 down. So this is the biggest opportunity. So my first purchase of gold was $82, and today it's worth about $1,300. So it's, it's not big money, but I didn't lose money. So anyway, that's the other thing. I also balance off with debt. I don't save money. But most people cannot borrow in the quantities of money that myself, I borrow, Kenny McElroy borrows, and Kim borrows. But everybody can do this. I'm not saying buy gold or silver. I'm saying pay attention because we're an education company. That's the difference. And our guest today, are Brian London, editor and publisher of Gold Newsletter. His website is Gold newsletter.com and Jerry Williams, a person who I buy a lot of my uh, precious metals from, both gold and silver. His website is apmaz.com and is founder of American Precious Metals. So we're an education company. So again, I said I, I became a gold bug in 72 in Vietnam and I've just nothing but, so I have a lot of gold coins and silver coins today, that's what I'm trying to say. But anyway, Jerry, what was the first time you met me? It was 15, 20 years ago now. I think it was longer than that. It was like 93, actually. And uh, I had just uh, started this company. And uh, you came in with a bucket leaning to your st- to side. It was heavy with something. And you said, <laughs> buckets, buckets of coins. Coins from, a, uh, f- from washers and dryers that uh, you had in your apartment building. Yeah. And so we, s- <laughs> we used to collect all these don't tell the IRS, but we had all this money coming in from washers and dryers. And so what am I going to do with all this worthless coins, you know, quarters and half dollars and so whatever they, they were? Right? I believe gold was around 350 or something like that, 300 maybe at the time. And mm-hmm. you want to know how much gold could you get for that bucket of coins? I had a coin counter right there. We ran them through, and I think you walked out with four or five ounces, I think, of, uh, of gold and American Eagles, which hadn't been out in four or five years. And uh, that started a procedure where you would yeah. come in about once a month turn those things in and then suddenly <laughs> I started seeing more money as gold went on up and you know by 2000 it was over 300 and on its way to a thousand in 2008 so yeah. so anyway I started with I was just getting rid of cash right you know with track because I think cash is trash and I was buying gold and silver and I never stopped I've never sold any of that stuff the ups and downs okay that's a wise move. Well, you know, the money we have, which we call money, is basically a, a currency. is a substitute for money. It's counterfeit money. Just right. Think of, just think of it as counterfeit money. Gold is money. Aristotle, Aristotle said it, you know, 2,500 years ago. He said gold has to be two things. It has to be a medium of exchange, which it is, but it also has to be a store of value, which it's right. not. Right. So those out there who think of your savings in the bank as money, it's basically counterfeit money. Just think of it that way. You'll be a lot happier. So, Brian... 
What would you say to people right now who are saving money? That's my question. Well, as you said, they're guaranteed losers. The, the rate of inflation right now, as low as it is, is less than or is greater than, rather, than the interest you'll get by saving. So every day you're losing more and more. You're sinking in quicksand. Uh, your wealth is going out the door more and more every day. In, you know, you had mentioned the, uh, the Romans used to actually debase their coinage. They would either uh, alloy the silver and gold with other metals, or they would clip the edges. And that was because they had rung up debts, and they had to make those debts cheaper by making the currency cheaper. And that's happened ev- with every currency over 4,000 years, of every form of government over 4,000 years. Eventually, the government starts racking up debts, and they have to debase the currency. And that's, that's just a rule of, of economics. It's going to happen, and it's going to happen now because these days, not just the U.S., but every country in the world has racked up debts to an unprecedented degree, as they've tried to uh, spend their way out of the uh, the crisis, the, the credit crisis that began in 2008. So we're, we're just repeating the same cycle that's happened over and over again. It's nothing new. It's, it's something that's happened throughout history, and uh, it's just going to happen again. And this time, I think, to even a, a greater effect than we've seen before. And the thing is that the Chinese are the guys that invented paper money, and uh, you saw what happened to their empire. <laughs> it went straight down. Mm-hmm. So the Chinese are actually doing smarter things today is because they're investing U.S. dollars that they collect from selling to Walmart, from Kmart, or whatever they do. They get our dollars, and they're investing it in infrastructure in Southeast Asia and Africa because every time I'm out there, they're all Chinese-aid products, projects, and yep. all, all I see are military Navy SEALs all over the place in, the, in Europe. So we've become a war country which drove the Romans down because, you know, the Roman Empire spread all the way up through the whole place, the world. But they couldn't afford it, so they taxed the farmers, and the farmers of Italy said, hey, to hell with this, we're we're stopping working. And that's what's happening today. History does repeat. Uh What most most people don't know about China is it's the world's largest importer of gold. Mm -hmm. Every month they put money into China through Hong Kong equal to the amount of, of the worldwide production. Also, they never sell any gold. I never sell gold or real estate. Well, the Chinese either. don't either. So yeah. they're obviously they're accumulating it. And I'm they're not, not Chinese. And they're not disclosing. <laughs> I know that. <laughs> yeah, they don't disclose how much they have, but I think they have a lot more than probably we say we do, and we don't really know because we don't audit ours. So once again, Brian, you know, the editor, editor of Gold Newsletter, you do your best to educate people, don't you? Absolutely. We have a uh, free report on our site that uh, the the Investor's Guide to Gold and Silver that talks about every way you can invest in the metals. It's very objective. It recommends the best newsletters, the best conferences. It goes into great detail about everything, and it's, it's free of charge. We like to educate people. Um, it, it's a, an area you need to learn about. You know, the simple thing is, is that the, to know is that fiat currencies, the dollar included, are going to be worth less and less. They, they, they should just stop calling it fiat. They should just call it counterfeit, and then people would get the message. Exactly. And, you know, you, you mentioned uh, the Roman emperors again. They were, they were assassinated when, when the uh, Roman denarius was devalued at too great a rate. But in 19, since 1964, as Jerry mentioned, the dollar, the purchasing power of the dollar, has dropped about 90% since they took right. silver out of U.S. coinage. So that... That was enough to get Roman emperors assassinated way back when. But, today, but for but some to, reason... But today they, they get elected for keeping the, the Ponzi scheme going. Exactly. That's why, because people get elected because they keep spending the money and creating the debts. And because everybody can, feels great until they don't. You can do that because you can counterfeit money. Mm-hmm. You know, think about this, but it's like your neighbor who's selling drugs out of your front, front, who's not working, they're selling drugs and they're printing money in their basement eventually what they're doing is going to come to an end. And that's what the leaders all over the world are doing. They're selling drugs, they're not working, they're unemployment, they're collecting payments, and they're printing money. That's what our governments are doing. So all you savers out there, and you listen to all those people that tell you to save money, 83% of the American public believes that financial literacy is saving money. 
So today we're talking to Jerry Williams, who's a person I've been buying gold and silver from for years. I trust him. And we have Brian London, who's editor and publisher of Gold Newsletter, holds the New Orleans Investment Conference, October 25th and 28th. I'll be speaking at that conference, not because I want to hear myself speak, but I want to hear the other speakers speak. And if you're going to buy gold and silver, even though it's $20 an ounce, $20 for a coin of silver today and about $1,300 for a gold coin, you still need to study. Just don't buy stuff because I tell you, or don't listen to your financial planners or those editors in the newspapers and all that because they got their heads up their butt. Most of them have no idea what they're talking about. They're just employees doing a job. And the, the message is savers are going to be the biggest losers. They already have. They've already lost 95% of what they've saved. How stupid is that? And they're still saving money. That's nuts. That is insanity. So for all of you out there who are savers, you know, and you want to find out what's the biggest opportunity in the history of the world, as far as I can see, this is it. As I said, in 1972, I was a young Marine pilot in Vietnam. My rich dad wrote me a letter, and he says Nixon took the dollar off the gold standard. I had no idea what that meant. And some of you have no idea what we're talking about today. But this is your, your time to study and to learn because gold back then was illegal, $35 an ounce. And by the time I got the word, it was about $70 an ounce. I'd gone up 100%. And by the time I bought the first time, it was $82 an ounce. And I still have that gold. It was illegal back then. I still have that gold. It's legal now. But it now is $1,300. And I think the best is yet to come. You're listening to The Rich Dad Radio Show with Robert Kiyosaki. Rich Dad Coaching offers a phenomenal variety of services and custom strategies, all aimed at ensuring a secure, comfortable, and rich future for you and your family. Now you can get weekly access to exclusive Rich Dad Coaching services through our live stream events. Go to richdad.com and click on the On Demand banner at the top of the homepage. Great new videos are updated regularly. Get inside knowledge and insights from Robert Kiyosaki himself, Rich Dad Coaching Professionals, and more. Go to richdad.com and click on the On Demand banner at the top of the homepage. This is the Rich Dad Radio Show, the good news and bad news about money. Here's Robert Kiyosaki. Welcome back, Robert Kiyosaki, the Rich Dad Radio Show, the good news and bad news about money. Once again, you can listen to the Rich Dad Radio program anytime, anywhere on iTunes or Android. And all of our programs are archived at richdadradio.com. Once again, we're an education company. We're not an advice company. So the reason I rec we archive all of our programs is so you can go to richdadradio.com, pull this podcast back, and listen to it two or three times. Just you know, it might take you three hours to get to three or two or three times, but your mind will open as possibly what's going on in the world, because I think we're sitting on the biggest investment opportunity of today. Now, you know, not not tomorrow, but today. Now, prices of gold and silver go up and down, but today, if you understand the long-term trends historically, and this has been going on for thousands of years, sports fans, of course, I don't tell you that in school. That the Chinese tried it back, you know, a thousand years ago. The Roman Empire tried it, and they crashed. The Chinese Empire crashed, and now the U.S. Empire is about to crash because we're counterfeiting money. Basically, that's what's happening. So all you savers out there, that's why rich dad, poor dad, I said savers are losers. But also, that's why I use debt. Not too many people should use debt the way I use debt because most people are not that well educated. But for those of you out there who are looking for your opportunity to not get shafted one more time, this is your time. Study gold and silver because gold and silver have been money since man walked or man and woman walked the earth here. And the, every time they've printed money, the empire came down and the U.S. empire is about to come down. It may take 10 years, 20 years, but the, I can guarantee you one thing, fundamentally, I mean, they cannot pay their bills until they print more and more, more, more money. So once again, our guest today are Jerry Williams. He's the founder of American Precious Metals. He's the person I buy most of my gold and silver from. When every time I have a question on what has happened historically, what's happening today, what he thinks is going on tomorrow, Jerry, I was just there yesterday, in fact, buying more gold and silver, talking to Jerry about what's happening in the world and how he sees it. Because I need to have education, not a tip. 
And our other guest is Brian London, editor and publisher of Gold Newsletter. His website is goldnewsletter.com. For those of you who want more technical information, please subscribe to his newsletter, goldnewsletter.com. He's also host of the New Orleans Investment Conference, the world's oldest and most respected gold investment event. Again, I will be a speaker there, but I'm not going to listen to me. I'm going there October 25th and 28th to New Orleans to listen to all the other experts Brian has coming. So for those of you who want more information on gold and silver, which I recommend you do before you just re leap out and buy it, please go to the New Orleans Investment Conference. So Brian, who are some of the speakers you have coming to your conference? Well, in addition to you, of course. Uh, well, you already have heard me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> We have uh, Tucker Carlson. We have Charles Krauthammer. Wow. Have... Are you kidding me? Heavyweights. No. I think what, what uh, Brian London is saying is that if you want the standard uh, corporate garbage they, they pump over the air, be it CNBC or Fox, this is not it. You're going to get the no. straight shot at the New Orleans Investment Conference from some of the smartest guys on, on earth right now. Yeah, we have, and we have Peter Schiff coming. Uh, we have Doug <laughs> Casey. You know Peter, of course. Uh, He's, who doesn't, doesn't know Peter? Time. My best friend. Yeah, a wonderful guy and, and just really <laughs> brilliant. Um, and we have somebody, Judy Shelton, who is uh, a real gold advocate, uh, founder of the Sound Money Project, an economist who, who is on a short what? list for the Federal Reserve Board uh, by Donald Trump. Is wow. an advisor to Trump as well. Wow. Hmm. Wow. You have an all-star lineup there, you know, like Peter Schiff. His, I, he and I go at it all the time, but we're on the same team. That he, yeah. is, he, he has a point of view that very few people do. He's offshore. He has his own bank. He moved out of the U.S. So for all of you who want some what we call radical points of view and points of view not seen in the newspaper, on radio, or on television – the New Orleans Investment Conference, October 25th and 28th, is your conference. And then uh, you have a special offer for Rich Dad listeners? Yes, we have a uh, half-price offer for a gold newsletter, and we have a 40% discount for uh, the New Orleans Conference. And, and that's actually set up on a special page off of our website, uh, goldnewsletter.com forward slash Rich Dad. And uh, they go to that, and they'll be able to to get the entire, uh, get all the deals. Once again, you guys, the reason Rich Dad is not an advisory service, we're an educational service. An advisory service will tell you, I recommend you buy gold and silver. Now, I buy a lot of gold and silver from Jerry and a few other people. But you've got to find out yourself why to buy it, and that takes education. Mm -hmm. So the New Orleans Investment Conference is a place well, you'll be dropped into the water and swirled around like in a washing machine, and you'll come out a different person <laughs> because it really is time to get away from counterfeit money. This is the time. Would you agree with that, Jerry? I certainly would. Yep, That's what I've been saying consistently for nearly 40 years now. Oh, yeah, me too. So anyway, uh, Brian's newsletter, Gold Newsletter, you say something that is crucially important. You say, don't buy because of fear. Mm -hmm. What do you mean by that? Well... What happens, and what's actually been driving gold this spring, is geopolitical worries. You know, people are worried about what Trump is going to tweet. They're worried about North Korea. They're worried about all these little flashpoints around the world. And instead of buying it out of fear and reacting to the headlines, they need to buy it out of concern and out of knowledge of what the inevitable trend is. That's yeah, I, over the, yeah, I call know, it, what's, what's the underlying fundamentals of counterfeit money? That's what I look at. So exactly. It's just knowledge. That's what you're saying. So the more you understand that, you can make your own educated decision without watching CNBC, those guys, right? Yeah. They're printing more and more dollars in, in yen and in euros. They're printing paper currency hand over fist with keystrokes these days. Right. But you can't create gold like that. So there's more and more an infinite amount, seemingly, of paper currency, right. counterfeit the, currency. Right, and the reason we call it counterfeit, listen to this, you guys, what Jerry alluded to earlier is that it was illegal for a while, you know, but the, what makes something money and what the government did was they didn't allow you to pay taxes with gold and silver. That's changing also, right, Jerry? It's called, what's it called now? 
Well, there's legal tender laws uh, that uh, are in place here. And, of course, in our country, legal tender is whatever the government says it is. If you look at your paper, it says this is legal tender for this all This is debts. important. To, see, when the government says the dollar or the yen or the euro is legal tender, that means you can pay taxes with it. The government will accept it. But the government would not accept payments in gold and silver. But there's some – like Arizona just shifted, right? Right. We have a law in effect now, SB 2014, that says that gold and silver are legal tender in Arizona and therefore not subject to income taxes in Arizona. And we can pay taxes with it. That's correct. Yeah. Now, we're the third state to do that. There's about 10 more right behind us. Uh, Utah was first, Idaho, and then us. And gee whiz, is Colorado and like I say, about a dozen Utah was one of the first, right, to shift over. They were the first, right. Yeah. So legal tender means the government anoints it saying it's okay. Yeah, now let me quickly explain that this is more symbolic than anything because Mm -hmm. you and I dealing across the counter with it is one thing, but if we're trying to buy a car or a set of tires, you have to have a willing recipient on the other end. I understand. But Ron Paul is behind this movement. If we get enough states to pass this law, then you can go to the federal level and maybe restore our money to the constitutional value, which is gold and silver. Right. It's in the Constitution. Right. That, that'll take a long time. But right now you're watching a trend happening in government for the first time. Yeah. Any comments on the idea of legal tender, Brian? Yes, actually. The, uh, you know, the federal issue, as Jerry mentioned, is the real issue because you still have to pay taxes. And if you have to pay taxes for, on gold, then it's not truly a legal tender. Uh, you know, on capital gains. In other words, if I buy gold for a thousand, it goes to two thousand. I'm going to spend, I'm going to pay about twenty eight percent tax. Exactly. On exactly. the thousand dollar gain, so exactly. that makes it that that that's not legal. Ten, that's not legal. It's not, it's not currency. It's not money. Yeah, and and the solution to that, I don't think we can make gold and silver legal tender instead of the dollar. I think that's too uh, a bridge too far. But we could either through the the Congress or through the courts establish gold and silver as currencies alongside the dollar. And I think that would accomplish the same thing. It wouldn't be taxed either at any level. Exactly. Right. So that's another fundamental. So people buy on fear, but I buy on fundamentals. Number one, we can't pay our bills. The odds are the government's going to have to print more counterfeit money, all governments. And if you're saving it, you're an idiot. That's what I'm trying to say. And some of the states are catching on right now. Let's make it legal tender, which means it's not going to be taxed. That is huge. So once again, it's Robert Kiyosaki, the Rich Dad Radio Show. Our two guests today are Brian London, editor and publisher of Gold Newsletter. He's the host of the New Orleans Investment Conference, October 25th and 28th. It's the world's oldest and most respected gold investment event. Great speakers will be coming to there, including me, but I'm going to listen to other guys. And you can go to his website, goldnewsletter.com. And Brian has a special offer for Rich Dad Les- listeners. Also is Jerry Williams. He's a founder of American Precious Metals. His website is apmaz.com. And again, I'm talking about all savers are losers right now, but you've been losers since 1971. And nobody told you. And every empire, the Roman Empire, the Chinese Empire, has come down because they counterfeited money or they debased money. So for those of you, it's time to get educated. I'm not saying buy gold and silver. I'm doing my best to listen to people like Jerry, Brian, and myself and go to the New Orleans Investment Conference and hear from other experts who can say freely what they're not allowed to say in their publications on air, on television, and all that. So ladies and gentlemen, all savers are going to be the biggest losers around. Don't be one of them. Invest a little time and money. If you can't go to New Orleans, you know, subscribe to Brian's newsletter, goldnewsletter.com. You'll get more detail. You'll be updated all the time. But most importantly, find a reputable dealer like Jerry Williams, because Jerry, there's a lot of Kahneman and Crookman in gold and silver, right? That's in anything. Yeah. That's, so that's why I go to Jerry, because interestingly enough, his office that I used to go to, a con man moved into, and I, I had to move with Jerry because those guys were trying to sell me collectible coins. I said, no, I don't do that. But they were trying to tell me how this coin was $1,000 today, but be $20 million next week. And I said, look, I don't do that. I, buy, I, don't, I don't buy on speculation. I buy on fundamentals. What's going on in the economy? What's going on in the economy is we're broke, we're printing money, and things are changing rapidly, and the American empire may be coming to an end as we know it because the Chinese are buying gold. That's what's going on in the world today. Is that correct, Brian? 
Absolutely. As, as Jerry mentioned, China is consuming all the new gold, new gold production annually right now. Okay. And, and just recently, they're buying even more. They're turning their dollars into gold. Right. So when we come back, we've been going to the most popular part of our program. It's called Ask Robert. Both Brian and Jerry have graciously agreed to stay, stay on because this is a very hot subject. This is a timely subject. This is no time to say I'm going to think about it. So when we go to Ask Robert, you'll be, they'll be staying, standing by to answer your question. You're listening to The Rich Dad Radio Show with Robert Kiyosaki. Every business owner and real estate investor needs asset protection. Entities like LLCs, S, or C Corps are vital to protect yourself and your business. Let Corporate Direct guide you through the process of forming a corporation or LLC. Corporate Direct is owned by Rich Dad Advisor Garrett Sutton and is Robert Kiyosaki's choice for corporate formation. Mention Rich Dad and receive $100 off a formation. Call 800-600-1760. That's 800-600-1760, or visit online at CorporateDirect.com. That's CorporateDirect.com. The key to achieving your dreams is to develop a rich mindset instead of an excuse mindset. Instead of saying, I can't afford that, ask yourself, how can I afford that? It's amazing how a simple shift in thinking can open a world of new ideas and endless possibilities. Let the Rich Dad Company help kickstart your journey to financial freedom. Robert Kiyosaki and the Rich Dad Company have compiled Robert's top secrets to creating a rich mindset, now available in a 10-minute ebook, How to Achieve a Rich Mindset. This offer is available for a limited time only, so get yours today. Get your free ebook, How to Achieve a Rich Mindset. Go to richdad.com and look for the banner. Again, this is available only for a few days, so act fast. Go to richdad.com and look for the How to Achieve a Rich Mindset banner. Your financial education continues. Now back to Robert Kiyosaki and the Rich Dad Radio Show. Welcome back, Robert Kiyosaki, the Rich Dad Radio Show, the good news and bad news about money. Today we're talking about the biggest investment opportunity possibly for you. Again, we're an education company, not an advisory company. We always advise you to study. So we have two great guests today, Brian London, editor and publisher of Gold Newsletter. Please subscribe to his newsletter if you want to study more. You don't want to study more, then call your financial planner and give you a tip. They'll tell you to put 10% in gold and silver, like idiots tell you to do that. And they'll tell you to save money. Why would you save money when the governments are counterfeiting money? See, it's not about fear. It's about fundamentals. The fundamentals of the world are shot because in 1971, Nixon took the dollar off the gold standard. And they're printing money. You want to save money? Have a good life. And our guest is Jerry Williams, who's founder of American Precious Metals. Website is APMAZ.com. And these are my experts today. Also, Brian is hosting the New Orleans Investment Conference, the world's oldest and most respected gold investment event, October 25th and 28th, where I'll be a speaker at, but so will other, be other, other great speakers. I'm not going to listen to me, obviously. I'm going to listen to the other speakers because I study. So it's a very important time because for those of you who want to make a move, what, what I think is going to be the biggest shift in the world economy in history, you have a chance. Today, gold coins in the U.S. are trading for about $1,300 an ounce, and silver, gold, silver eagles are trading at about $20. Anybody in the world can get into this market without much risk. There's always risk, but there's not much risk. So please study. That's what we stand for here. So we're going to the most important part of our, most popular part of our program is called Ask Robert. And you can submit your questions to Ask Robert at richdadradio.com. So Melissa, what's the first question? Our first question today comes from Kenny in Africa, favorite book, Rich Dad, Poor Dad. He says, when and where is the next copper boom? I'm looking at the current situation in Southern Africa of copper mines closing. Example, Botswana has six mines closed and over 15,000 people are jobless in the Zambia Copper Belt. All mines are closed. Well, first of all, Botswana is a fabulous country. It's one of the most educated and, you know, great country. Love that country. Copper is a metal of growth. It is a base metal. When we talked about in 1964, I looked at my silver dollar, my main, my half dollar, it had copper in it. That's a base metal. Copper is down. I, I would not count on it coming back. I am a copper miner. You know, like I was up in Canada. We're digging for gold. We struck copper. We had to shut the mine down because there was no market for copper. And by the way, for those of you, one of the best movies I've ever seen is called Gold 
with Matthew McConaughey. It's exactly what I went through when I struck gold in China. When I struck gold in China, the government took it away from me. So in the movie Gold with Matthew McConaughey, the guy that took it away from, it was called Briex, they were a complete crooked company. But nonetheless, the person that screwed him was Gerald Ford, President of the United States and Suharto and Tommy Suharto and all that. See the movie Gold, it's just out. It is what I went through. I have, I have gold mines, silver mines, and a defunct copper mine. Any comments on copper there? Anything you want to say about it? You wouldn't touch it, would you? Uh, no, I wouldn't, actually. Uh, like you say, it's a growth metal. If the economy... Uh, it's a you know, base you need, metal. It, uh, uh, yeah, you need it for growth, but you need it for cars and housing. And electricity. And electricity. Yeah. And going it's, a it's a commodity. It's a commodity. There's no shortage of it, uh, like silver, for example, which is production's down the first time since 2002. You know. And it's all dependent on the growth of China. When China's building out its infrastructure, then copper will go up. If China's pulling back, as it is now, uh, then it's going to have a hard time. Right. So I wouldn't count on copper. If there's too much of it, it's a base metal, and gold and silver and platinum are precious metals. And so your education is beginning. So I feel for the people of Botswana. I love your country. I was there. You have great beer, great, beautiful people, fantastic, highly educated people. But your school system has no financial education in it. And so next question, Melissa. Our next question comes from Oliver in California. Favorite book, Rich Dad, Poor Dad. When do you think the U.S. will do away with the dollar, and what will replace it? Jerry Williams, I think that's a silly question. I think you want to say about that? Well, only that the dollar has enjoyed uh, reserve world reserve currency status. Uh, that is starting to crack now as the Chinese are uh, making deals with the Saudis to uh, pay for oil right. with the Chinese currency, the yuan. So it's what already- most people don't realize the dollar is really a petrodollar. It went from gold from a dollar backed by gold to backed by oil, petrodollars. That's why the first stop for Trump's visit was to Saudi Arabia, because those are the guys that control it. I think people should check on uh, what the International Monetary Fund is doing. Right now they're designing a new world currency. SDRs. Which is, it's called a special mm-hmm. drawing right, SDR. I think the dollar would be one of the components of that new currency, like the Chinese yuan. Yeah, they're just going to crank the printing press in a different direction. What do you think about that, Brian? SDRs I, and IMF. Well, I, yeah, I agree with Jerry. It's, it, the dollar is may lose some of its reserve currency status, but as far as internally, it's not going to get replaced by anything. The, the government's not going to get more fiscally responsible and bring back gold and silver as the currency. And, and, the, and the way you look at it right now, the, the, the 10-year just went down under about 2%. That means every saver is a loser. That's, that's mm-hmm. what's happening because they're going to just print more money. So all you savers, listen up. Savers are losers because our dollar is counterfeit money. Just know that, and maybe you'll go to the New Orleans Investment Conference and get some education. Next question, Melissa. Our next question comes from Nathan in Australia. Favorite book, Rich Dad, Poor Dad. He says, if the government makes it illegal to own gold and silver or transact in gold and silver again, how will you use your gold and silver holdings to acquire assets? Well, first of all, Australia is a fantastic gold and silver gold company country. And I love the Aussie people and Australia. Kim and I thought about living there for a while. But I think you're asking really silly questions. Those are fear questions. You don't buy, as Brian London says in his newsletter, gold newsletter, don't buy on fear. You buy on fundamentals. And the, be, fun, uh, and the fundamentals is the United States and all countries are printing money. That's why, you know, in Japan, interest rates are below zero. Sweden, they're below, I think, I think it's Sweden, they're below zero. Why would you save money? Look, wake up. Thomas, Jerry. Well, to answer his question, uh, it would be a complete reversal of our current philosophy. The, the U.S. Mint makes a lot of money and have since 1986 uh, selling gold coins and silver coins. So right, but the thing is that you're asking fear questions, not educated questions. Those, those, I, hate to, I hate to be SOB on this whole thing, but you've really got to get educated because you're listening to fear, not fundamentals. And the, what you want to understand are fundamentals. Is and, that you know, our debt is too high. We have to print. So what does that mean? Right, Brian? Yeah, and, and from a, a practical standpoint, when you buy gold and silver, it's not reportable. So nobody knows you have it. So how would you spend that gold and silver if they make gold and silver illegal? Quietly is the answer. And don't keep it in a bank. You know, my friend Jim Rickards, 
you know, The Road to Ruin, his latest book. Please get that book if you want to understand gold. Road to Ruin by Jim Rickards. It's the mo- I think he's one of the smartest guys around. Mm-hmm. Every time, every chance I have, I get a chance. I listen to him. I read him. I study him. And if you want to know why you should be buying gold and not saving money, it's The Road to Ruin by Jim Rickards. Any comment on him, Brian? He spoke at our conference a couple of years ago, and he really is smart. I mean, he's really one of the most brilliant guys out there. So clear-headed and uh, and, and experienced. His views, experienced, smart. and his he's really uh, forward-thinking. What he's saying now is, I think, is is absolutely brilliant, and he's making hard and fast predictions that nobody else has the gumption to make, and. Uh, Time and time again, they turn out completely correct. Right. Jim Ricketts has been a guest on our program. You can go to our archives at richdadradio.com and listen to what he has to say. This, again, we're an education t- company. We're not recommending you buy anything. His book is called The Road to Ruin. It's the latest book. He's a lot of books on gold and things like this. But he's also the author of Currency Wars, which started his whole thing because he was part of LTCM, Long-Term Capital Management. It was one of the biggest collapses of currency going. So... Wake up and smell the, the coffee. All you guys here, listen to me. If you're believing in saving money, you're about to get hammered. That's my fear. Right, Jerry? That's correct. You, you agree with that, Brian? Oh, absolutely. Look, absolutely. interest rates are going down again. What does that mean to you when the bond rates keep dropping, Brian? That means that in, investors around the world are going to the U.S. dollar, the U.S. securities for safety. And so what happens when that safety, that they've, they learn or realize that that safety, that safe haven, is ill placed. There's only one thing out there. I mean, all of the all of the currencies around the world are being cheapened, and they're all cheapening against each other. And when they all cheapen against each other, then there's only one real standard that's going to rise against them, and that's gold. So, what do you, what do you think about that? Well, it, it does Sorry. force money into stocks around the world too, and of course, that's another bubble, right? Uh, mm-hmm. Created by cheap and easy money. Yeah, so as long as people keep believing in the dollar and the stock market and all that, things are fine. But as we're trying to say to you here is China is buying with our money <laughs> gold and they're investing with, via loans to rich countries like those in Southeast Asia and Africa because they want their resources also. They get them in trouble. China wins by getting other countries in debt to them. That's how you suck the wealth of a country out is via debt. And that's why 1971 with Nixon taking the dollar off the gold standard was so important, but also why around 1975 the dollar became the petrodollar as a deal with Saudi Arabia and why President Trump, that was his first stop, to let them know that we're going to protect the dollar at all costs, which means we could be leading to war someplace. And all this stuff is possibility, but you've got to study and find your own answer. Next question, Melissa. Our next question comes from James, who lives in the U.K. Favorite book, Rich Dad, Poor Dad. He says, would it be best to invest in gold bullion bars rather than gold collectible coins? Well, Jerry, collectible coins, which, Jerry the, is a guy that actually is a retailer. You go into, I go to Jerry not for the coins or anything. I go for education. Right, Jerry? Yes. So what do you answer? how do you answer that question? And you've never bought a collectible coin. I've never tried to sell you one. But uh, by their, by their uh, definition, they are for collectors. Mm-hmm. And therefore, you're dealing with a thin market with wide margins between buy and sell. And they don't always follow the gold price, which is in reverse of the dollar. It's a, it's a, it's a hype. It's a pitch. Well, if like I say, it's for collectors. There are certain people who really want to have that 1907 high relief sink but buttons. They've, but they've studied it. They, yes. They know exactly. the market But for value. someone that comes into my office and says, what should I buy? Well, what's your goal? Is your goal just to preserve wealth? Well, then the best way would be just a low premium gold bullion and bars. Brian, your comments on collectibles versus bullion? Oh, the same thing. It is a collectible. A lot of people really love it, but you have to educate yourself to a very high degree, and you have to do it because you love it. Like a lot of things in life, if you really enjoy doing it, if you really uh, get into it and educate yourself and have fun at it, then you tend to make money at it. But, you know, it's something that most people who make money in it don't really sell. Right. Once again, it's Robert Kiyosaki of the Rich Dad Radio Show. Thank you for submitting your questions to Ask Robert at richdadradio.com. I want to thank Brian London and Jerry Williams. Brian is editor and publisher of Gold Newsletter, host of the New Orleans Investment Conference, October 25th and 28th. And Jerry Williams is founder of American Precious Metals, APAMAZ. And thank you all for, for listening.